We thank God and pray for a greater mathematical experience in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are going to study binomial expansion. Binomial expansion. Now, binomial expression is the expression of this form, A plus B. When this is raised to a power and you want to expand it, that is binomial expansion. Now, if the power is 2, we have A plus B times A plus B, okay? Which is equal to this, A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. If the power is 3, it is this, A plus B times A plus B times A plus B, which is equal to this, all right? You do your normal expansion and convince yourself that it is equal to this. For A plus B raised to power 4, we have this. Raised to power 5, we have this. And what is the pattern? This is the pattern. A plus B raised to power N is equal to this. Summation from R equal to 0 to N of N combination R, A raised to power N minus R, B raised to power R. Okay? All right. Now, N combination R is given as N factorial over N minus R factorial R factorial. All right. Now, the beautiful thing about this uh, expansion and this formula is with this formula, we can obtain the terms of binomial expansion without doing the expansion explicitly. For example, what is the coefficient of b raised to power 3 in this expansion? Observe that b raised to power 3 is uh, when r here is equal to 3. It's when r is equal to 3, we have b raised to power 3. And so, what is this when r is equal to 3? We will have, our n here is 5. So the coefficient is uh, 5 combination 3, 5 minus 3 is 2. So this is equal to 5 factorial over 5 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. Five times four times three factorial over two factorial times three factorial times a squared. Three factorial cancels this three factorial. We have two factorial, which is equal to two. Two divided two is one. Two divided two, four here is two. So we have five times two is ten. So we have ten a squared. Okay? Observe that that is what you have here. Ten a squared. That is the coefficient of b raised to power 3. We can get a desired term of the expansion without actually doing all of them. Note that this is the binomial expansion of this when n is a positive integer. Okay? Remember we said that uh, without having to exhibit the entire expansion, you can find a particular term. The R term of this expression is given as a n combination r minus 1 into a raised to power n minus r minus 1 b raised to power r minus 1. Note that n combination r minus 1 you can also write as n combination r minus 1. These are another way to represent it. You can also write it as n as this n combination r minus one these are different ways of writing that all right for example find the fourth term of this find the fourth term of a plus x all raised to power six here is six okay and we are looking for the fourth term okay so r is four so we have six combination 4 minus 1, that is this combination, 3. And we have a raised to the power 6 minus 3.
we have b raised to the power 4 minus 1. So, what is n combination 3? Our n is 6, remember? So, we have 6 factorial over 6 minus 3 factorial, 3 factorial. So, this is equal to 6 times 5. Why do I have to stop here? Just because I have 3 factorial as the denominator, so 3 factorial will cancel that. That's why I stopped there. Okay? 3 factorial is 3 times 2, which is C. So I have this. And this is equal to 20, 20 A raised to power 3, B raised to power 3. Uh, this is the fourth term of this expansion using the binomial theory. Now find the coefficient of x raised to the power 8 in the expansion of this. Find the coefficient of x raised to the power 8 in the expansion of this. Now what do we do? We know that the r term, the term, the r term, all right. Now, we expand and we have this is 10 minus times r is minus r minus times minus 1 is plus 1. So we have 10 plus 1 minus r. So this is 11 minus r. 11 minus r. Now 2 times 11 is 22. And 2 times minus r is minus 2r. So we have 12. OK? And this one is uh, y raised to the power r minus 1 times x raised to the power minus r minus 1. Okay, remember a over b is equal to a times b raised to the power minus 1. So that's what we used here. We are looking for the quotient of x raised to the power 8. So we need quotient of x raised to the power 8. Now here we have, okay, the power of x here is uh, 23 minus 3r. 23 minus 3r. Okay, 23 minus 3R. All right, but we want the power to be, we want the R that will make this power to be 8. So we equate this to 8 and find the value of our R. And so if we do that, we have that uh, 3R is equal to 23 minus 8, which is equal to 15. All right. That means that this implies, therefore, our R is equal to 15 over 3. Observe that this R here is the R that will make this power here to be 8. So what is now the coefficient? It is this one, which is 10 combination 5 minus 1 times y raised to power 5 minus 1. Therefore, the coefficient of x raised to power 2, therefore, the coefficient of x raised to power 8 is equal to 10 factorial over 10 minus, this is 10 combination 4. So 10 minus 4, since our r is 5, r minus 1 is 4. So 10 minus 4 factorial of times 4 factorial times uh, y raised to the power 5 minus 1, 4. Okay? So we have that this is equal to 10 minus 4 factorial is 6 
factorial. So we have 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. Now 6 factorial cancels this 6 factorial. So we have over 4 factorial. Y raised to power 4. All right. 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So we have this. All right. So 4 times 2 is 8 cancels this. And 3 divides 9, we have 3. And so we have uh, 30 times 7. And that's 210. We have 210 y raised to power 4 as the coefficient of x raised to power 8. And we are done. Now this says, find a term that is independent of x in the expansion of this. All right. Now the term that is independent of x is where x is raised to power 0. Okay. So how do we get that? Now what we do is to get our root term which we have ourselves. <laughs> now remember, minus x raised to the power r minus 1 is the same thing as minus 1 raised to the power r minus 1 times x raised to the power r minus 1. Okay? Minus 2 raised to the power 3 is equal to minus 1 raised to the power 3 times 2 raised to the power 3. Okay? Okay, so we treat it like that. And we'll have Okay, so this is um, taking care of this minus here by multiplying by this minus 1 raised to the power arrow minus 1, where x raised to the power arrow minus 1 is now this, plus arrow minus 1, since it's now of the same base with this. Okay, so I now have, this is 18 plus 1, so it's 19. I can clean it and then put 19 here. All right. All right. So I will now have that this is equal to minus two times nineteen is minus thirty eight, and minus two times minus r is plus 2r, okay, then plus r minus 1, observe that the interest is to get a term that is independent of x, so I just have to get a term where the power of x is equal to 0, the term of the, of the expansion where the power of x is equal to 0, so I can just single this out, and take the power of x equated to 0, find the value of r, and that is the solution. Get the power of x equated to 0, find the value of r in that equation, and that is the term. That is the required term. So I have the power of x here is uh, minus 39. So I have minus 39 plus 2r plus r is 3r equal to 0. Okay, so this gives me 3r equal to 39. So r is equal to 39 over 3, and that gives me 1, 3. That's 13. So it is the 13th term that is independent of uh, x. All right, so we stop it here today. We thank God for his mercy and pray for a greater experience. God bless you.
Remember to share if you find it worthwhile. Mathematics is sweet. May God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.